The gruesome death of a nine-year-old girl in Brooklyn has now been deemed a homicide by the medical examiner's office. Tonight, the girl's mother is being questioned but has not been charged. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge is in Crown Heights with more on the investigation and community reaction. Maurice and Jessica, neighbors tell us they're extremely upset. They say they would often see that young girl at her window here at this apartment where she lived on the fourth floor. But residents also tell us some of her mother's behavior was often alarming. Crime scene investigators carried evidence bags out of this apartment at 571 Lincoln Place, where nine year old Shalom Guafaro was found dead in her apartment around 1 p.m. yesterday afternoon with bite marks and bruising to her back, head, and hand, now deemed a homicide by multiple blunt force trauma. To hear something like that, that's it's gut wrenching, you know what I mean? It hurts. Neighbors say they would occasionally see the little girl and her 13 year old sister. You did see them on the fire escape, you know, playing. But Residents say most of the encounters with their mother were disturbing. She was always yelling at them, so they always looked a little scared, a little, you know, like somebody's screaming at you. So police sources say the mother was the one who called 911, saying her daughter was not breathing. They say her 13-year-old sibling was in the apartment and told officers her sister had a temper tantrum, and mommy spanked her and put her in a timeout. Then she and her mom went to the kitchen to eat and later found her little sister unconscious. A dog was also removed from the apartment. All I saw was the little terrier because it was like a little, it was a little dog. Sources say there have been calls to the unit for domestic incidents. Neighbors say they heard constant arguing. This woman didn't want to appear on camera, but says but she would hear screaming all the time. According to sources, the mother is a city employee. We also reached out to Children's Services. All they could tell us is they're working with the NYPD and have ensured the safety of the 13-year-old sibling. In Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Natalie Dudridge, CBS2 News.